So Juske, how you guys day went? Okay, it's July 4th. I was working all day, okay? I was working all day. But you know, July 4th don't end until July 5th, 2 o'clock in the morning anyway. Okay, when when we buy fireworks in the hood, <laughs> it's going to be on and popping until 2 o'clock in the damn morning, okay? Even though you got to be working in the morning, at 8 o'clock, you still going to be popping fireworks at 2 o'clock in the morning. Okay, hope you guys did something wonderful with y'all day. It's a boring ass vlog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. No, but for real though, like, as I was saying earlier, like, you know, I just let it go. Like, I don't really hold on to stuff no more as much as I used to. I was, I would hold a grudge. I would not let it go. I would be mad, be upset with the situation, all the other stuff and hold on to it and one part I understood because I felt stuck and then the other part it was because it's like, why me and then instead of asking why me, I started asking why not me because I feel like I can handle it I feel like I've been through it before I feel like, to me while you on this petty, I'm on this other level type shit. Like, I'm on this, you know, boss mode type shit. Like, to be honest with y'all, uh, I really, like, my whole life has changed in a matter of a couple of months. I will speak on it soon. I say that a lot. When I feel like I am comfortable and I am able to speak on it, that's when I fully speak on it. So just to sit around and wait <laughs> until then. But it's one time I'm not comfortable with speaking on it just yet. But I can say where I was, uh, the place I was at before is not the place that I'm at now. And that being said, it's very much so that one, I've elevated not only you know financially but mentally i've elevated because at one point i didn't know what i was going to do with my life i just knew that what i was doing was not what i wanted to do for the rest of my life and i've even had a chef laugh at me in my face when i said i'm not gonna be doing this for 20 years because when i used to work at universal i'll do a story time about that but when i used to work at universal i was there for almost four years and when I told the chef, like, I don't want to do this for four more years. Because he was trying to tell me how he had a plan for me and doing this and doing that. And then his plan to me was so small. Like, my dreams are big. Like, my dreams aren't small stuff. Like, I don't, and I'm not taking away from nobody, but I don't see myself as a supervisor. I see myself as a CEO. I don't see myself as working for someone else I see myself as not only employing others but helping others become employers that's what I see myself as I don't see myself as a as just living nine to five living the life that I'm currently living that is not what I dream for myself that is not what I want for myself that has never been what I wanted for myself and I just, the only thing that was stopping me from getting to that point is me knowing what the hell to do. I knew what I wanted to do is what I wanted to do, but getting to that, like, I just didn't have the steps to do that. I didn't have the guidance. I didn't have the direction. It's pretty much like throwing uh, a cat in a maze and expecting them to find a lizard on the other side of that maze. Mind you, the, when you put the cat in the dog on maze, they will sleep. So now what they're doing is they sniffing the bushes, they going through the bushes, they ain't really following the maze, they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> they're just, you know, living life. You know what I'm saying? Even though I didn't always feel like I was living life, but th th that's not, that's beside the point. <laughs> what I'm saying is, what I, I didn't have direction. We, we don't keep it at that. I didn't have direction, I didn't have the guidance as to what it was well how to get where i wanted to be in life and now i'm taking those stepping stones to getting there and i'm that much more closer and that is the reason 
Like, like I always say, I always revert back to working towards your dreams, taking those steps to working towards your dreams. And the reason why I say that and the reason why I do that and I'm so advocate about that is because people always like, oh, dream big. Okay, you can dream big all you want to, but if you're not doing nothing to, to you know, live in that dream, what's the point of dreaming a dream and never seeing it? You know what I'm saying? Like, I dream, like, I do have some weird dreams, but... Normally, like, the big dreams that I have for myself and the dreams that I used to dream as a child and growing up, like, I didn't imagine myself being in the spot that I'm in right now, to be honest with you. Like, at this point in time, like, to be honest with y'all, like, I had different goals in life at this point like this point i felt like i was gonna be married i was gonna if not be a ceo a coo something like that at this point in time in my life um i thought i would have 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 lived in china by now was teaching english over there speaking uh mandarin chinese fluently i had so many aspirations in life but i just didn't know how to do them i didn't it's not that I didn't have the support because my mom and my family is very supportive. It's just that I didn't know, I didn't open up my mouth to seek and I, no one around me knew how to get where it was that I wanted to be in life. And it's gonna take a lot of risks. It's gonna take a lot of failures to get there. And I'm gonna close with that <laughs> because at this point in time, I still haven't accomplished it yet. So I can't really say, oh, well, da 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 because I haven't accomplished it yet but I am working towards it and I do feel myself being closer to my dreams now than I was two days ago a week ago a month ago a year ago two years ago three years ago like I every time I look back in my life every time I look back um on any day of my life I always see myself progressing and when I don't see progression, I get bored and I get unhappy and unease. I get uncomfortable. I'm comfortable with n something being new. I'm uncomfortable with everything staying the same. Why? Because things staying the same is bad because this is not a utopia. What What's going on in the world right now, what's going on with you right now is not let me speak for myself. <laughs> What's going on in the world for me isn't what I would even imagine the world to be. And yes, there are a lot of progressions in the world, but it's just, yeah. And then taking that and making it about me and making it about my life and this and the other. What I'm seeing around me isn't what I wanted to see around me. What I am going through isn't what I would put myself through. Isn't what I would want myself to go through. Isn't what I would want my kids to go through. Isn't what I would want anybody in my family to go through. Any friends. Like anybody to go through. But at the same time, it is a learning process and a learning experience. And then I'm able to share that with other people. So I, I'm not having any regrets on it it's just that it's a lot going on and i'm rambling um not really rambling but it's just like i haven't really got i don't really got my thoughts to to it right now i would have to do a car talk and when i do car talks it's way more like okay i know what i want to talk about these boom 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 example 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 boom, boom. <laughs> But right now, it's like, this is just me. Like, this this is my thought process right now. Like, I'm just, this is just. <laughs> so, there's just, I just know that I'm progressing. I know that I'm a lot closer to my dreams. And even though, like, I did see some pettiness going on, um, some shadiness going on, I really didn't, I really didn't pay any attention to it, really. I just, like, was like, okay. I didn't. Once. I hope if if you aren't at the point in your the point in life where you're finding peace all around you, I really pray that you get that soon. Um, because there's nothing like peace within yourself, within your surroundings. Like it could be all hell breaking loose around me right now, and I'll just be sitting here calm as fuck, like just chilling. Because I know my goals, I know my ambition, I know the steps I'm taking, I know the moves that I'm making, and yeah, so let, let's end it.